by Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. The Bible says to acknowledge God in all our ways and he will direct our paths. This is by request. Sometimes it's difficult trying to hear from God. I have been in quandaries. I'm telling you. I mean, God can be frustrating. Oh, yeah, he can. <laughs> Seems like we need to buy a supernatural hearing aid just to be able to hear, well, what the heck is he saying for me to do? But listen, God will protect you when you are seeking his direction, even if you are going the wrong path way. God will put people in your paths as substitute traffic cops to help guide you and <clears throat> steer you <clears throat> in a more accurate direction, which is lined up with God's will. <coughs> Sorry. Sometimes I have found that some of the ways that we actually know what God wants us to do is when there's a peace. That's one thing I love, God's peace. When there's a stillness inside and a feeling of satisfaction <clears throat> and you feel very comfortable about moving in a certain direction. There seems to almost be a feeling of hope and excitement, anticipation. But then there's the other side to that. What if God didn't say to do that? You start heading in a certain direction and you start feeling a little trepidation. You start to feel an uneasy feeling like something wrong is getting ready to happen. Not fear. Uneasiness. And it's, uh, it disturbs your peace. So this is real brief. Just want to let you know. These are ways for you to know. If there is opposition... Check and see what type of opposition and where the source of opposition comes from. That too will be an indicator as to whether it's God's will or not. I'm not an expert on this, you guys. So this may not be that helpful. Because to this day, I am still learning how to <laughs> recognize God's direction. Ask God to line your heart up with his heart to only give you the desires of the things that he's willing for you to have and to turn you off to the things he's not, to close the doors that he doesn't want you to go through. And then don't get frustrated when he starts answering that prayer because <laughs> he will. He closed every door to every bid we put in for houses. This was the open one, the only open door. And this was the best deal. Ask God to bless you with confirming dreams, lead you to scripture. He will give you a, a name of a book in the Bible He'll give you the chapter number and just start reading. When I bought my car years ago, it was a new car. I said, Lord, if you really don't want me to have this, correct me now. I got three days to rescind. I'll go back down tomorrow and cancel this thing while I can. And I said, but if you want me to keep the car, I mean, you want me to keep it more than I have faith to keep it. Lead me to the scripture that says, it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, which will interpret to me as 
It is your father's good pleasure. I am tickle pink, baby, to give you this car. And you will never be late on a payment because I will provide. I saw, I'm sitting on the couch, and I saw L-U-K coming into focus like a zooming in lens. And it was, I, I got to do it like this so you can kind of see what I mean. Here we go, a zoom in lens. You see how this is getting closer and closer? And you see how you see the print at the bottom of the bottle? And it's getting more and more in focus. Well, this won't be because it's too small. But the bottom line is, what I saw was L-U-K-E. One, two. And I looked up in my Bible, Luke chapter 12, and got to reading. That's a long chapter. So I was getting a little dis discouraged as I got halfway through. But there it was. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Do you know I called up the next day, called the company, arranged by faith, based on God's word, to have them automatically debit my bank account with the payment. That was an act of faith, you guys, because I didn't have a regular paycheck coming in. I had been a hairdresser by that time for 20 years. I was self-employed. Some days up, some days down. And I arranged, do you know, every single month when that car payment was due, God would always give me a, a flood of customers. Crazy. Somebody would say, oh, I did something real stupid with my weave. Could you take this old hair out and put some new hair in? They knew what it was going to cost. They paid it and loved it. And I was able to make my car payment. Every time it was something crazy. So what happened? I never once was late on my car payment. And I won't tell you how much it was because you were freak. I will just say it was more than $400 a month. Way more. Way more. That's as far as I'll go with it. Because you think I was crazy for taking that kind of leap. <sighs> Should I tell them? My car payment was $749 a month. Basically $750. Plus auto insurance. Full coverage. So altogether the car was running me before I put a drop of gas in the tank. Eight hundred and twenty something dollars a month or thirty in order. <laughs> then after that put gas in the tank. And it was a big car. Two thousand three. The Lord told me to buy it in two thousand three. Gave me a dream about the car fifteen years before they ever made that design. And once I got the car and the Lord told me it is your father's good pleasure to keep to uh to give you the kingdom, then he brought that dream to my mind. I had forgotten about it. I went downstairs, compared the car to my dream. It was a perfect match. Mm hmm Yeah. When God directs you. He will make it happen. You have to believe once you know he's directed you. Get confirmation, ask him for signs, whatever. But he will help you. And he will guide you. To your blessing. And guide you out of a curse. Oh, yes, he will. He'll expose Satan's agenda and assignment against you. He will expose it if you are willing to open your eyes in truth. Take heed, listen, 
and act accordingly. God bless you as you, like I, learn to hear God's voice.